fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the western United States. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. No man could match his daring and resourcefulness. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young and the Lone Ranger was fighting the greatest battle of his entire career. wealthy rancher living in the district centering upon the town of Spanish Flats had vowed to destroy the outlaw band that had terrorized the countryside for almost a year. Already one of the chiefs of the criminal organization had met his death. And on an evening several days later, Graham stood in the doorway of his home, staring into the darkness. I'd have sworn I heard something out here. Oh, what's that? Just a shadow, I guess. But just the same. A dog. That's what I heard. Arizona. Is that you, Arizona? Arizona. Hello, old boy. Where's your master? Where's Arizona? Here, Wolf. What's the matter with you? What is it, boy? Want me to follow, do you? Want to show me something? Well, go on, Wolf. Go on. Wolf, what have you found? That's you, Graham. Arizona. Gosh, I didn't mean to, to play out like this. Man, what's the matter with you? Arizona, what's happened? Before I talk... Would you mind giving me a hand? Help me up. Why, of course. Oh, man. Thanks. Now, how's for help me to the house where I can sweat? I'm just plain tuckered out. Never thought I'd make it. Hold on to me. Sure. Your horse? I had to turn him loose. Had to come on in afoot. Let my saddle hit out in the hill. You mean that you had... That uh, horse was even... Even worse off than me. But what? Now, wait. You get inside first. Make it up the steps all right? Uh-huh. Well, now, take it easy. Wolf, you stay outside. Here we are. Now, then. 
This chair here. Ah. Oh. Gosh, it feels good to be arrested. Anything I can get you? Food or water? I uh, could stand a drink if you didn't mind. I certainly. Well, here you are. Uh, thanks, Eddie. Golly, that's good. Yeah, thanks. That'd better be all for just now, I guess. Feel like talking now, Arizona? <sighs> Graham, it was awful. You look as if you'd had a bad time of it. I found Tonto's trail three times and lost it four. Yes? That's well, my own fault. I should have fixed a place to meet him. Should have known he'd be too slick to leave a trail anybody could follow. Then you don't know whether the Lone Ranger's living or dead? Nope. Don't know a thing. You think they reached the caves? Don't know even that. Maybe the, the masked man didn't even live to, to get there. The murdering skunks. They've done for the, the finest fellow the West ever seen. If he is gone, Graham. Gunner paid for it, of course. That don't even the score. No, it doesn't. It ain't Gunner that's really to blame, you know, Graham. It's the polecat that's hiding behind Gunner. And all them other crooks like him. I know that. It's the skunk that gives him their orders. I've thought about that, Arizona. What do you mean? I've got an idea. The only way we'll ever be able to learn who he is and bring him to justice is to first destroy his organization. Uh-huh. If you jail the outlaws, he rules. Take away his power, then he'll be defenseless. Well, you know what I told you. Whether the masked man's living or dead, you can bank on me to do what I can. I reckon that's what the masked man would want me to do. Be, well, kind of like carrying on his work. You really mean that, don't you? You can just bet I do. Then I've already planned our next step. You have? When you've rested, when you're ready to ride again, we're striking at one of the most vicious outlaws in the entire outfit. Well, who's that? The man who's led the gang that carried out these holdups. The gang that's robbed stages, banks, homes. The man who's been responsible for a score of brutal killings. Who? Turk Rigby. <laughs> Approach the building to the wealthy Jingle Bob Mines. Inside the office, Jerry Collins, boss of the smelter, was hard at work on his day's report and was unaware of his danger as the two outlaws reined in their mounts. Oh, 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 Rigby! You know what I'm here for, Collins? Get out! You're telling us when the mine figures to send out his next ship in the gold. So you and your gun hands can steal it? Talk! You can go to thunder! Talk! I said you go to thunder! You coyote! Get up! Get back up on your feet! You, you can't do it! <laughs> That's the way to handle them when they get stubborn, Turk. Let them have it. Now are you going to talk? Oh. When's that gold being sent? Talk, well, skunk... I wouldn't tell you nothing if you'd come here with your whole gang. Watch out, he's after a gun. Bug him. I'll show you. I'll take it. I got him. Collins, your lucky stub didn't shoot to kill. Oh, my arm. Get a bandage on it and you'll be all right. I got some over here. No, you don't. Not till you come across with that information we want. You skunk. You're just storing up trouble for yourself, mister. Turk, I know what you can do to me if you want. But just the same, I ain't talking. Dad, what are we going to do with this hombre? Keep at him. But the crazy agent ain't got sense enough to come across. The boss said you was to find out when that gold was being sent. Sure, but then why... you do like the boss says. When he gives an order, he aims to see it followed. You hear that, Collins? I heard. See the spot I'm in, don't you? What do I care? You ought to. Because if you keep on acting stubborn, I'm going to let daylight through you. Hey, watch out. Now talk. Don't pull that trigger. Collins... It's so close to going off right this second, you're almost the same as knocking at them pearly gates. You... You shoot me down without giving me a chance? I got orders. That boss of yours, who is he? Why don't he show himself? 
Why don't he come here out in the open and do his own dirty work? That Go on. What are you going to... I'm going to count, Collins. When I get the five, if you ain't talked yet, you never will. Wait. Two. No, don't, Turk. You can't shoot me down. No, please. Three. <laughs> oh, no, don't you do Four. Stop. You changed your mind? If, if I tell you, will you let me go? Let me live? Will you, Turk? Will you? <laughs> Why, sure, Collins. <laughs> Shucks, we don't mean you no harm. Nothing personal, anyhow. Just a kind of business proposition. The gold. The gold. Yeah. It goes out three days from now. Hmm. Well, now, fella. Why couldn't you said that right off and save yourself all this trouble? I didn't. I... Only the driver. Huh? They figured if they sent guards along, it would tip you off. They're sending the gold in a freighter. Like it was just a fly. <laughs> I get it. Trying to be slick, huh? Well, that's enough, Turk. Put a rope on this gent and let's get going. Yeah. Put out your hands, fella. You don't have to tie me up. Well, that's to keep you from trying to make a break for it on the way to the hills. On the way to the hills? You heard him. Come on. You're taking me alone? Shut up and do like you're told. But you promised me. Said you wouldn't do nothing. You wouldn't kill me. You're going to take me out and kill me. That's what you're going to do. You're going to get rid of me. You can't do that. No. You think we'd be local enough to let you stay behind and give them warning? No, no, no. You can't do me. Collins, no. dead men don't talk. <laughs> patio of a little border mission in conversation with the Lone Ranger's old friend, the Padre. Padre, I reckon there's no use my telling you how I feel. You thought just as much of that masked gent as I did. He was a fine man, my son. Uh, I thought... Well, I, I, I thought... See? Oh, I reckon it sounds kind of funny coming from a no-count fellow like me, Padre. But before I go on about some business I got left to do... I thought maybe I could kind of mosey into the chapel there and sort of talk to the masked man. Savvy what I mean? Of course, amigo. You think he'll hear me? See, si, Arizona. I think he will. I'll be out again in just a minute or so. I will be waiting, my son. exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. When Arizona attempted to tell the Padre that in spite of his fears, the masked man was still alive, he learned that Tonto had already told him the news and... Yes, my son. We have much to be thankful for this day. Just wait till I spread the word. Just wait till I let folks know the Lone Ranger's going to fight on their side against these crooks. Say, won't that set things a humming, though? Wait, amigo. I can hardly... You will not tell them. Huh? Arizona... Tonto has explained that it is the wish of the Lone Ranger that we speak of this to no one. Why, I don't say him heap sick. Yeah, I know, but why does he, he want to... He sent for me. I shall ride secretly to the cave where Tonto has hidden him. And shall there do what little I can to nurse him back to health. Yeah? But I fear that if his enemies should discover us, I would be but poor protection for him while he is unable to defend himself. Gosh, I, I didn't think of that. It seems so funny... The masked man laying there too weak to fight. Gosh, it's just one of them things that's just hard to imagine. See, he has always been the man of action. Riding silver like the wind. See. Daring any kind of odds. Throwing lead with them two six-shooters of his. It will be many days before the Lone Ranger will ride again. Yeah. Him help, though. Help? Again, them crooks and that fella at their head? How in thunder can he? When it is safe, Tonto will come to him for advice. Do not fear, my son. Though the masked man cannot be with you in person, you shall have the benefit of his counsel. Then, Tonto, that means you're going to stay with me. Ah. Padre, you go on to wherever the masked man is. And when you find him, see, you tell him to get well as fast as he can. But not to worry. Tonto and me will handle things. We'll light a blaze under them crooks that they won't put out. They rode away from the mission. Arizona explained to Tonto the plan he and Graham hoped would bring Turk Rigby to justice. You see, Tonto, Graham's put a heap of thought into how to clean up these outlaws around Spanish Flats. Uh huh. Guess you recollect what he said about how they're organized. There's about a half dozen different gangs. One goes in for smuggling, one for holdups, one for rustling, and so on. And that's right. And they're all bossed by this one fellow we can't locate. Not even the heads of his own gangs knows who he is. He's got a fella takes him their orders. Oh, uh, me savvy. Now, this hombre called Turk is one of the worst of the lot. It's his gang holds up stages, robs banks and such. Uh. And if we can get him, then their big boss ain't going to like it one little bit. Turk ain't the kind of a gent you can replace real easy. How get him? Ever hear of the Jingle Bob Mine? Uh-huh. They're to the west of Spanish Flats. Got a right big workings. Take out thousands of dollars in gold every month and melt it down themselves. And they sent it to San Francisco. Oh. Well, in the past year, they've had around a half dozen of them shipments held up and stole. All is by Turk. Oh, me hear that. Thought you might have. Of course, they've done what they could to keep Turk from learning when gold was going to be shipped. But somehow, he most always finds out. Uh-huh. When that happens, well, it's just another fifteen or twenty thousand dollars going into the pockets of them crooks. Mm, that's plenty of cash. Too doggone much for comfort. But just the same. Graham figured out a way to use them holdups to trap Turk with. How that? Day after tomorrow, they're sending the gold out in a freighter. That freighter will be loaded with boxes and such, like as if it weren't carrying nothing but supplies. Oh. Won't be no guards along. But that don't mean Turk's going to be fooled. Fact is, we're hoping he ain't. Why that? We want him to raid the wagon. Me, not savvy. Because we're going to be inside one of them big boxes the wagon will carry. Oh. And just when them crooks figure they're having everything their own way, we'll let them have it. Uh -huh. That heap good idea. <laughs> Ain't bad at that, is it? I helped Graham figure it. What's that? Arizona. 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 Tunnel. So that looked like Mr. It's Graham. And howling his head off. What in fun is he doing this far from home? Come on, Tyler, we better go see. Uh, get him up, Scout. Get him up. Come on, boy. Get up there. Get up. Hi. Hey. Get up. Get up. Oh, Scout. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, uh, oh. Graham, what in thunder? Look at this. Huh? It's leather glove. Yeah, but what's the meaning I of it? I found it south of Jingabob Mines, on a trail leading into the hills. Well, what of it? What's it mean? Look at the initials on it. Arizona, this glove belongs to Jerry Collins. Who's he? The man in charge of the smelter at the mine. Hey, you mean... Turk's got him. He'll make Collins talk. How much him know? Everything. He knows the gold is being sent on that freighter. And he knows Arizona planned to be hiding in it. Oh, golly. And if he tells that, our plan is ruined. You think he will? Frankly, I don't know. Well, what do we do? If we can't go through with it, how are we going to catch Turk? I haven't figured Me. it. 
Me got ID. Huh? Tonto, what is it? Where you find glove? Why, I told you that. It was south of the mine. You show Tonto place? Why, I could, yes. Uh, Arizona, where dog? Wolf? I left him at the ranch. You get him. Tonto take him. What do you got in mind, Tonto? Get dog, then me tell you. You come. Well, Tonto, I reckon you're boss. Let's go, Graham. Right. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get him up, Scout. Get him up, Florida. Deep in the hills, the two men who had taken Collins captive gutted their prisoner into an increasingly wild and lonesome wilderness until finally Turk gave the signal to halt. This will do. Pull up. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, what are you pulling stuff on here for? This ain't no place to camp. <laughs> Didn't figure it was. Good place for other things, though. Come on, climb out of that saddle. My hands are tied. You can make it. Climb down before I drag you down. <laughs> What are you going to do? Yeah, hadn't we better be getting out of where the boys are waiting, Turk? Ain't but a couple hours right away. And what are you going to do? I figured we'd better do what has to be done before we join them. They don't have to know everything. <laughs> oh, I see, me. You are going to drill me. No reason for letting you live, is there? Stub, take them ropes off his hands and make him stand over by them rocks. Yeah. No, no, don't shoot me, don't. Oh, gun it, shut up. You can't. No, no, please, you I can't. I said shut up. I'll let him holler, Turk. Nobody's going to hear him. <laughs> he won't holler for long. Yeah, he's loose. Get over by them rocks. Please, please, wait. Go on, get over there. You can't do me in, you can't. If you do, they'll catch you. They'll catch you when you hold up the freezer. You can't drill hey, me. Hey, what's that you said? Let me live and I'll tell you everything. You've been holding out on us? They knew you'd likely find out about the freighter. They've been hoping you would. They got a scheme to catch you. Well, I'll be... Who's they? Graham and Arizona. And they want us to try and get that shipment of gold? Yes, yes. Why? What are they scheming? If I tell you, will you let me live? Will you? Sure. Out with it. Hey, you ain't telling the truth. Just as soon as you get it out of me, you'll go ahead just like you planned before. You better talk, fella. Not until I know you ain't going to shoot me. What do you want us to do? Throw your guns out of reach. Let me have one of your horses. Why, you... If you don't, I ain't going to say one word. You want to get blasted where you stand? I won't talk. I won't... You can't... Hold it, Heck. He ain't going to say anything. He knows with us planning and let him have it anyway. He ain't got nothing to lose by keeping still. You mean we're to do like he says? We have to. We gotta know what they're scheming, don't we? But he can't. Dogs, Turk. Why make a fuss about it? There's my gun. Toss yours over. All right. You can take my horse. Yeah. yeah. But I'm holding this bridle. You come across. Now, what have you been holding back? They're gonna be hiding on the freight, a laying point. Huh? How could they? They're gonna be in a box big enough to hold the two of them. What? Yeah. I told you. Get up. Get up. <laughs> there he goes to warn them. Yeah, no, he won't. Pick up the gun. Well, he's got away, ain't he? Yeah? What? What? Well, doggone. Come back here, fella. Stop, your horse is turning right around. <laughs> oh, that That's why I told Collins to take my brown. But how did you... I've got him trained. Yeah, steady, fella, steady. You <laughs> you. All the names ain't gonna do you no good. You tricked me. Just a second. What do you mean, Stub? This changes things. If Graham and Arizona find out Collins has disappeared, and if they figured it was on account of us, maybe they'll guess he's talking and change their plans What again. do you aim to do? Stub, I know the boats don't, don't like you to do nothing but take messages back and forth. But this time, you think you'd take my boys and hold up the freighter? Mm, could, I suppose, but why? What are you going to do? Head back and keep an eye on Graham. If they go through with their scheme like Collins said, yeah? when you stop the freighter, let them have it. But if they change their plan... I'll find a way to let you know. Now, let me get this straight. I'm the boss to hold up. If we don't hear from you, they're hiding on the wagon like Colin said they would and would have finished him, right? Right. And you let us know if they scheme anything different. Right again. Stop the wagon at Willow Pass. Then if I have to, I'll know where to reach you. And Colin? Take him with you. But how did... We'll save him for later. Hmm? And if he wasn't telling us the truth, well, he'll wish he'd let us finish him like we planned. All right. Get going. <laughs> Two days later that a band of horsemen hid in the woods that bordered the approach to Willow Pass. They had been there for some time, but at last a cloud of dust in the distance revealed the approach of the freighter with a shipment of gold. At the side of the wagon, Stubb turned in his saddle and addressed his followers. There comes the wagon, and Turk ain't here yet. You gents know what that means? It means Arizona and Graham and maybe town or two are hiding in one of them boxes. Just the second the wagon pulls up, give it to them. Don't even give them a chance to show themselves. See any boxes big enough to hold them hombres? Fill them full of lead. You fellas have me that? Yeah. Well, then there's a wagon. Come on, let's go. 
Get up. Get up there. Come on, get up. Hey right there, pull up. Pull up that horse before you get drilled. Hang up. Hang up when they tell fire dead center. Oh, 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 Now, where's the goal hit? Go to a striver, you'll be sorry. Come on, come on. Come on. Hey, what? Hey, there's Arizona, and that's Tano with him. I thought they was inside that box. Somebody was in there. Who was it? How'd Collins get loose? I thought we left them safe at camp. We've got to fight them off. Here they come. That's what's going to happen. I'm getting out of here. Get up. Get up, your hands, you fool, Captain. Tano, you get Turk out of that box. See how bad hurt he is. Let's stop go. Uh-huh. Was Turk in there? How'd he get in that box? Yeah, Tano trailed him and caught him coming back. We put him in there so he'd get a taste of the same medicine you figured on giving us. What are you talking then when about? Turk told where you fellas were camped, Tano hid outside just waiting for you to clear out. Soon as you did, he got me away and we come here a kite. How is he, Tano? Uh, him get shot. But him still lives. It'll make much difference to me which way it turned out. The polecat deserved being drilled a dozen times over. Oh, that's right. And now he'll live to hang. Ah. Well, Tano, we did a pretty good job. Stubb got away, but Turk didn't. And neither did these gents. Uh, that heap good. So we've just started, Tano. Before we are done, we'll get them all. And that boss of theirs that hides behind them. Dry goats the mask man, would they? Well, just watch our smoke. All right, you polecats, get moving. For jail. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.